A bad break. In the town of Sweet Pickles, the animals get into and out of pickles because of their all-too-human personality traits. Each of the books in the Sweet Pickles series is about a different pickle. The story is about jumping to conclusions. One morning in the town of Sweet Pickles, Goof Off Goose went to look for her football. When she found it, it was flat. Oh dear, sighed Goose. My football has a hole in it. The poor thing is broken. She went next door to borrow an adhesive bandage from Responsible Rabbit. A little bandage won't fit the hole in your football, said Rabbit. What you need is a big patch. May I borrow a patch then? asked Goose. I'm sorry, said Rabbit. I don't have a patch. He looked at his watch and he tapped his foot impatiently. Oh dear, he said. The taxi's almost seven minutes late and I'll never get to work on time. Rabbit, smiled Goose sweetly. You're going downtown today and I'm not. Would you buy me a patch for my football? I'll pay you back tomorrow. Just then, Yak the Yak swerved around the corner and his taxi screeching to a stop in front of Rabbit's house. Rabbit jumped in. Will you buy me a patch? Asked Goose again. All right, all right, called Rabbit. Step it up, Yak. And he cried at the taxi pulled away. I'm late. Rush, 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 said Yak. Everybody's always in such a hurry. A couple of silly minutes and you make a fuss. What's happening to the world, I ask you? Listen, Yak, cried Rabbit. If you have so much time, then you buy a patch for Goose's football and take it over to her. Anyway, as I was saying, said Yak, nobody seems to enjoy life anymore. Rush, rush, rush. That's all anybody ever. Yak! shouted Rabbit. Are you listening to me? Did you hear what happened? Poor Goose has broken her football and she needs a patch. Will you get one for her? Sure, sure, said Yak, and he dropped Rabbit off at the bank. Yak cruised down Main Street and stopped for a light. Healthy Hippo came jogging up. Hi, Yak. What's new? called Hippo. Yak leaned out the window. Say, he said, did you hear about what happened to poor Goose? She broke her football play, foot playing ball. I'm going to go get her a patch. No, no, cried Hippo. You don't need a patch for a break. You need a splint. Or if it's a really bad break, you need a cast. Hippo jumped in the taxi. Take me to the ambulance, he cried. And then the police. We have to help Goose. Yak stepped on the gas and swerved around the corner. Worried walrus and positive pig were walking their bicycles across the street. Yak honked, out of the way, he shouted. It's an emergency. What's going on? asked walrus. Did you hear about what happened to poor Goose? yelled Yak. She's had a bad break and no time for talking, shouted Hippo. Goose can't move without help. Hurry. Okay, okay grumbled Yak, and they sped off. Oh, no, I'm worried, cried Walrus. Poor Goose, that's a bad break, having to move without help. I'm sure we can help her, smiled Pig. She jumped on her bicycle. Come on, she shouted. Let's go into the moving van for her. Pig and Walrus pedaled up the street and almost bumped into an imitating iguana. What's going on? asked Iguana. Oh, moaned Walrus. Goose has had a bad break and can't move without help. We're going to go help her. They rode off. Me too. I want to help too, cried Iguana. She ran to the nearest telephone booth and she called Clever Camel. Did you hear what happened to Goose? said Iguana. Her car has... Ha has bad brakes and she can't even move it. You better get over there with your tow truck. Right away, said Camel. 
Everybody told everybody else that Goose was in trouble. Sirens were wailing, horns were honking, bells were clanging. The whole town rushed to Goose's house. All this time, Goose had been taking her morning nap. The ambulance pulled up and Hippo jumped out. Here she is, he shouted. Bring the stretcher, bring the bandages, bring the splint. They flung Goose onto the stretcher and she woke up. What's going on? cried Goose. She looked around. Walrus and Pig were carrying her furniture out in a big moving van. Camel was towing her car away. The police were keeping back the crowd. Help! Help! cried Goose. Yes, cried everybody. That's why we're here. We're here to help you. The end. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.